Good morning. Good to study God's word with you today. So uh, for our last devotion, I was hoping to catch a nice, lovely uh, evening sunset, but uh, well, got some evening fog instead. Just fog everywhere today. So unfortunately, no beautiful sunset for you, but I tried. Uh, for our devotion today, looking at the verse of the day, Matthew 4, verse 10, where Jesus says, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Um, here in the context, Jesus is uh, rebuking Satan. Satan tempts Jesus in three different ways to try to get Jesus to sin. Um, and ask Jesus to, uh, to worship him and bow down to him. And Jesus course refuses he was perfect in denying all the temptations and says worship the lord your god and serve him only and those are the words you know these verses of the day really get right to the point of what we should focus on in our devotion worship the lord your god serve him only there's so many so many things that is calling for our let's say worship right our time our talents our, our uh, money um, many things that this world screams at us that it needs our attention um, hobbies um, work um, school our families um, so many things in this world um, that cry out screaming at us worship me worship me serve me that's this is where you'll find happiness and joy and comfort Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Here's a, a beautiful verse for us to evaluate. How are we doing in our, um, our time hearing God's word, our, our talents and using our abilities for, for service in God's kingdom, our, our possessions giving back to, to God and all that he's blessed us with. Um, it's an ongoing thing for a Christian to always evaluate where we're at in our spiritual life? Are we drifting away or are we staying connected to our God and worshiping Him as we're hearing God's Word in our personal devotions? And that's one that I must admit I need to be better at. I've I've slipped and I need to I need to be better at that. And so this this text screams at me to get back into that um, Bible studies worship where I get to um, praise God and do so with brothers and sisters in Christ um, all these different areas it's always good to constantly evaluate how we're doing because like I said so many things in the world that we live scream for our attention and so that's my encouragement for us today remember to worship the Lord your God serve him only don't serve the things of this world it's so easy to do so um, but to know why why we stop take that time to hear god's word to worship him because he's the one that's given us everything he's given us life with him now and always let's pray dear lord we thank you for the life you give we thank you for the, the worship that you so deserve may we give that to you we ask that you empower us to evaluate how we're all doing in our aspects of our Christian faith, our faith life, our walk with you, uh, allow us those opportunities to be strengthened by your word, because in your word we are assured of your promises, promises where we find that lasting comfort, lasting joy, lasting peace. May we seek it now and always. We pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Our Lent worship service tonight. Um, chance to focus on Jesus, our Savior, going to the cross. Matea and I and Eliana, we will be heading back, so we'll be back in Krivitz on Wednesday sometime. Um, so say goodbye to our, our Panama City Beach for now. Look forward to seeing you soon. God bless your day.